Hello and welcome once again to the Snooker 19 Community World Championship 2021. Today we've got a match between Sperrin147 and Tom Lewis 147A3. Don't really know where the A3 comes from. Maybe it was the year he was born. Uh, the Tornado versus the Cream Horn, and I am delighted to be joined by uh, Tom Mayhew or Tommy Triangle. How are you doing, sir? Hello, thank you, Hazel. Yes, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> I'm I'm very much looking for, forward to the uh, return of the Cream Horn. I've missed him, I must say. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it's, uh, I mean, we both watched um, Sperrin in his first match against, uh, who was he playing? The Don's Magician. And uh, there was yeah. that moment where the Don potted the black and, and then the cue ball went into the middle pocket, so Sperrin mm. shouldn't even be here right now, but he is here, representing Sean Murphy. And uh, we've got Tom Lewis representing Mark, uh, the Pistol, Allen. And these two are good friends in real life. Uh, that's Sean Murphy and, and Mark Allen. Um, couldn't possibly say for, for Sperrin and, and Tom Lewis. They, they'd have to let us know um, how they feel about each other. But uh, a couple of nervy uh, shots early on here from Tom Lewis. And he may have left an early chance for Sperrin. Well, he is called the uh, the Tornado Tom Lewis, and he's he's not wasted any time. He's lived up to his nickname. But um... yeah, well, I think he's stolen that nickname off a certain Tony Drago, hasn't he? So, um... oh, I think he probably has done. Yeah, but I guess to <laughs> Tony's retired. He's yeah, not using yeah. it right now. So fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, uh, that's uh, a decent opening red there. from from Sperrin and. Well, will he be tempted One. to just trickle him behind the brown ear? Or will he take on the attack and shot? Looks like he's looking at the yellow, back to the brown. It's certainly an interesting one. I mean, in the Discord, this match has been built up to be everything. <laughs> you know, I know Tom's absolutely loving the tournament. And, um, you know, he was really Show excited to get, get into this one. And uh, Sperrin, of course, you know, we, we, we alluded to the fact he'd had a bit of a drink before <laughs> before his first round match. He said he was going to take this one a lot more seriously, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Certainly a nervy affair at the start of this, and once again, Tom Lewis just under-hitting it. This is not what I expected from Tom Lewis. If, uh, if people aren't in the Snooker 19 community, you might not know Tom Lewis, but Foul he miss. is... Sean Murphy. One of the four. biggest virtual snooker fans I've ever met. He loves it. And he's always picking up his one four sevens and his yeah. big breaks. But at, at the moment he's, Well, uh, I mean I mean he seems to to be halving everything that he needs to do on the power bar because he's just not he's not nowhere near where he needs to be. But I'm a bit surprised Sperrin didn't go for that red on the outside of the cluster there. Um, uh, I'm very surprised. I think maybe he's is he giving his mate a favour, perhaps? I don't really know. Well, yeah, uh, maybe sparing his blushes a little bit. Um, here or we go. He this looks a little bit hoping... harder, but it's still missed, Ooh. and he might have left the red near the black here. Yeah. Surely he's okay, got to take he's... this one on. He has to do. He has to. Come on, creamed horn. Yeah. They don't call you that for nothing. Oh, miss. Sean Murphy. Um, if people want to uh, comment below why they think he could be called that, that could be quite yes. fun in the comment section. Yeah, I mean, myself and Tom have been have been informed as to why he's called the Cream Horn, but we think it might be a bit more fun if One. if you all leave it to your own imagination, and uh, we'll have a good chuckle Joe, at the comments. You, Joe, do you think Sean Murphy is the only player with evil eyes in this game? <laughs> Look at him. Yes, uh, quite possibly. Kyron well, Wilson looks on... quite uh, quite terrifying as well, and Neil Robertson yeah. looks as if he's been ran over Eight. by a. A steamroller, but um... yeah, that's that's disappointing for one of the cover stars to uh, <laughs> to look that poor is is a shame, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even Jimmy White looks uh, looks better than than Neil Robertson, and I don't think anybody's ever said that before. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe maybe they knew it was a. Uh... Jimmy's only chance of being in the snooker game. Who knows? Yes, yeah, Sean yeah. Murphy, eight. They might have thought he'd be retired by the time the next one comes out. <laughs> Jimmy White will Jimmy's never gonna, retire. Jimmy, no, I was about to say, he's going to prove them wrong. He'll be 80, he'll still be playing. Yeah, yeah. 
Meanwhile, we're, we're back to a, a bout of safety. I think Sperrin will be very disappointed. He's had a couple of little chances and he's only actually scored um, 17 points from it. And two of them were, were four-point fouls. So, um, you know, that's... Uh, Cagey, that's the word I would use, Joe. Yes, no, definitely. Uh, and... Uh, and I've noticed uh, Sean Murphy's outfit choice is a little bit bold, um, wearing a custard shirt and mm. a checkered uh, checkered waistcoat. It's um, yeah. I mean, potentially, no, 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 one, no one Sean. Um, he he might have been having some apple pie and custard before the match, and he was actually wearing a white <laughs> shirt. Um, oh, he's missed it there. Has he? I think he missed it. I think yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I must admit I wasn't watching, but. Uh, oh, did he? Oh no, he did hit them. I think. He must have, must have okay. hit them. Um, very I would go for the action was... replay, but you you know there's going to be no editing on this, so. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, he is sparing. This is a chance. Him and his custard uh, shirt. Oh, unlucky DDK there. One. He's... Mm, dreaded double kiss. <laughs> yeah, he, he's got the uh, the the pink into the top right corner. I so. think DDK is my favourite catchphrase because Dennis always has to explain it after he says it every yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> it's like he's he's desperate for it to catch on, but he always goes, "Oh, the DDK, the dreaded double kiss." <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, seven, and uh, it's it's like how. He won Satnav Selby to, to catch on as well. Well, yeah. I christened him Satnav. <laughs> 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 I mean, to be yeah. fair, Satnav Selby is a lot better a nickname than Jester from Leicester, let's be honest. Well, yes, that is that's <laughs> undoubtedly true. Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. Sperrin's back in... Uh, Eight. Back in prime position now, you would suggest. Um... I mean, I was just thinking, the cream torn is probably better than the jester from Leicester. <laughs> it is. Oh, we're getting a good shot of the custard shirt there as oh. well. He's flicked the flicked the pink on the way through. I'm not I'm not certain 18. he can get through this red, but uh, if he can, he might be able to drop onto the black here. No, he can't get to it. No, he can't. Unless he's does a swerve no, shot, maybe. He's, but he's having a, a look at shot. the swerve. Uh, who's your favourite for this match, Tom? Is it? I would. Say, I mean, oof. See, I probably would have said Tom Lewis just because he he hypes himself so much that I was expecting Sean him Murphy, to thirteen to basically get a one four seven. As yeah. his name suggests. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, well, well, a, a one four seven eight three. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe the eighty three is just a counter of how many one four sevens he's had. He changes his uh, <laughs> username, but uh, we might get a little look at him now. That's a nice little opening red, and that'll settle him down a little bit. Um, there's two loose reds on the right hand side here. He'd love to to get onto them, and I mean, I'd personally be trying to get onto the reds to the left of the black and just try and open the black out into play, but it's a bit risky. This early on, he's just just playing oh. a, a soft screw there. Now it, it's a bit of a shame we don't have Tom Lewis's perspective on this because I'd be coming round and having a look at the black here and seeing if that mm. went went past. But um, well, is he is he going to screw uh, back a little? Bit? Mm, I don't know what he's played for there. Mm, it looked like he tried to hold for the pink, and worse ways he had the blue into the yellow pocket. Yeah, mm. it's not it, the easiest shot, though, is it? It's not, but I, I'd expect him to get it. You know, this is Tom Lewis one four seven eight three we're talking about. But he's ooh, I thought he'd ooh. I thought he'd missed that. I think if he'd played it hard, it might not have went in. Ten. But now it'll be interesting to see what he plays because does he try and hold for the pink again or does he roll through for the black? Screw back for the blue. That would have been very different lyrics to Snooker Loopy, wouldn't it? <laughs> I sense uh, a Captain Goodspeed cover coming out soon. <laughs> to celebrate the end of uh, of the Ronnie O'Sullivan career mode. 
11. Well, if this video gets 100 likes, Joe will record a cover of Snoopy Loopy. <laughs> hey, a hundred. That's a that's a low that's a low bar, Tom. A low bar for me to do something like that. It's almost like I want it to happen, Joe. <laughs> no, this is this is good though from 18. Tommy. He's uh, he's he's on the the red now. He's he's showing us what he can do, can't mm. he? He's picked up his game. His, mm. his nerves have settled down a bit. Yeah, I mean, may, maybe this is saying he's got eaten pot, but uh, his safety play is 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 not not quite as good. Which, if he does 19. get through, um, he could be playing J. Page Martin in the uh, in the quarterfinals, uh, who is the number one seed. So um, it would be uh, <laughs> he, he's going to need a safety game for that one. But that's a poor positional shot. He should have really 26. went into the reds there. That was uh, mm, should have done a little bit negative from from Tom. Oh, here we go, Mister Roll Up, Alan. Oh, Twenty six. Well, I mean, he, I think he didn't he christen himself Mister Roll Up in the uh, the Discord, I believe. <laughs> I think he did. Yeah. Um, I mean, since he is Mister Roll Up, should we keep a, a Roll Up counter going in this yeah, match? Okay, that's, that's that's one to Tom Lewis so far. Yeah, I think <laughs> one to Tom Lewis. I'll keep a little tally. Um. <laughs> That's the real score. That's going to decide who actually wins. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Forget no. this actual score. That doesn't count. <laughs> How do you feel, Joe, watching uh, a, another man use your Mark Allen here? How does that make you feel? <laughs> um. Well. Like, do you f do you feel like you know when you uh you see an ex girlfriend with a new partner? Is that how you feel watching Tom <laughs> Lewis right now? Hey, don't talk about Mark Allen and ex girlfriends. Uh, you know. Oh, you're right. There's been controversy this week. Hasn't there? Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe you were just trying to craftily get 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 that in there, but um. Well, oh, I don't know if we want... What a shot that, that is. That was a lovely shot. That was a beautiful shot. He wasn't distracted by his uh, ex-wife he, he certainly wasn't. And I must what? admit, Tom, you, you know I, you, you know me, I'm a huge Snooker fan, and uh, and I know um, the ins and outs of a lot of things, but uh, it, it completely passed me by that uh, Rian Evans and Mark Allen were a thing. Well, they're, they're not anymore. Well, they're not anymore, like, obviously, what? but um, yeah, I, I had no got... idea. I know they've got a daughter, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, had, I think I, had I, only, no idea. I only knew about it from uh, a little Wikipedia page of Rianne Evans once, and I was like, oh, I didn't know that. But um, it's just so. I, I think so it. Bizarre. I think it was one of those that by the time Mike Allen became a name, they'd broken up. So most people probably. Yeah. Know. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. But how good is their daughter going to be at snooker? Let's be honest. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it might be all right. It's uh, a shootout snooker. <laughs> <laughs> the way the way they've both played recently uh, on the TV, but uh, I mean Mark Allen didn't do too badly in this world, but uh, he's had a poor season by his standards. But uh, you know, speaking of Rianne Evans, I think it'll be a really interesting one to watch her uh, on the tour next year. I think she's been very unlucky so far in 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 the fact that she's. Played in matches with huge expectation and pressure on her, um, yeah. you know. So I think it'll be really good to see what she's capable of uh, playing full time next year. Well, I definitely think she's shown enough, like in the uh, the champion of champions against Sean Murphy. Yeah, that she yeah, can, yeah. She can play. She just uh... well, she beat um, Robin Hull, I think it was yeah. in the uh, in the world qualifiers a couple of years ago. So. And she took to uh, you know angles to to ten eight so um, uh, yeah exactly yeah you know and and, and angles is uh, you know can be anybody on his day or could obviously he's retired now but um, yeah no it would de definitely be interesting uh, and and also um, Nugon Yi as well mm. um, we'll see how she gets on because she hasn't been able to play for the last year so. Um, yeah, apparently she's been uh, practicing with Marco Fu though, so hopefully mm. that. <laughs> that'd be well. interesting. The, the one and two in the world, wouldn't it? That'd be uh, <laughs> you'd get some decent money for that. I'd, I'd really hope that we see Mark Marco Fu back in the top sixteen. Um, so do I. He's been a real. It's been really a big shame to see him slide down the rankings. You know, across about two or three <laughs> seasons, through no fault of his own, really. 
Yeah, he had um, he had some sort of eye surgery, and then didn't play for a little bit, and then um, you know the season after he didn't really have a lot of form, and then of course the pandemic. So um, it seems a shame that he's going to have to start from zero. I think that's what's going to be really tough for him that he'll be playing, you know, the likes of Selby and Trump and Ronnie in the first round of tournaments. Yeah, I mean, it will be difficult, but I think hopefully he can have a similar season to uh, to like Jamie Jones this mm. year. Who... I think he will, you know, to be honest with you. I do think Mark Wolf so. is good I, I enough. I do hope so. No, he de- well, he's definitely good enough as long as he can, uh, you know, I think he'll just need to get a bit a bit of match practice, but hopefully he'll get that quickly. Mm, mm, yeah. And of course, you know, um, there's only going to be 15 top 16 spots left because Hendry's, of course, going to going to be be taking one of them uh, when he inevitably yeah, well, dominates the sport next season. Yeah, I remember when he uh, he dominated Jimmy White with that high break. He won one frame with a high break of seven. <laughs> <laughs> One of the worst frames of snooker I've ever watched. <laughs> that, that's a night of your life you'll never get back. I mean, speaking of which, these two have been playing what seems like the same shots over and over again here. Um, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is this is interesting. Um, this is why snooker nineteen will never be a true spectator sport. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean. <laughs> Imagine, uh, folks at home, if you were watching last year's Virtual World Championship, this would have had no commentary. <laughs> this would have just had Neil and David uh, in the com box for, you know, the usual Snooker 19 pattern. But uh, now you're getting to hear about Mark Ofu and Rianne Evans. And uh... I mean, one interesting fact about uh, Rianne Evans being on the tour is that we could have a bit of history because it could be the first time that well, they're not together anymore, but she could play Mark Allen. What a match that would be. <laughs> I really hope that happens. I mean, it's fairly likely, to be honest with you. You know, because Mark Allen, Mark Allen will play one of the lower seeds in the first round, so... Yeah, you talk about, you know, if you wanted a, a shoot-up match that would get ratings, then... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a world championship qualifier, because I bet you Mark <laughs> Allen drops out the top 16. Next season, the way he's playing, Ooh, but uh, that's, a, that's a big bet there, Joe. I just fancy it happening now. Uh, um, but then that—that's worked out all right for Stuart Bingham, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, it, it's worked okay for a lot of players. Neil Robertson, Ding, um, Bingham, you know, uh, Williams, Hawkins. You know, uh, lots of players have have dropped out of the top sixteen and, and bounced back. Um, you know, sometimes is is a good. I mean, some players like Luca Brussel have dropped out and never come back. But um, <laughs> you know, well, I mean, he's still only about twelve, and he or something ridiculous. <laughs> like, so he's, yeah, I, he's I mean, got time. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's crazy. He's one of those who it feels like he's been around forever. But then you look at Wikipedia page, and you're like. God, he's twenty five or something mad mm, like that. Mm, mm. I feel similar about Mark Allen actually, though he's only thirty five. You know, I, yeah, he's he's been around a long, long time. I guess it's similar to Sean Murphy as well. You know, John Virgo keeps throwing the stat around that it's been sixteen years since uh, since the last world is is well his only world title, and uh, mm. you know. I, Feel like saying, John, you know, it was 16 years yesterday as well. So. <laughs> but you know, but you've got to love John Virgo. Uh, I feel, I feel like the BBC have uh, maybe had a word with Virgo and Dennis to not mention the old times a lot in this tournament after what Judd said before the tournament. But well, or, I mean. I don't know whether they have to have had a word because if you work in snooker, surely they would know that Judd would have said that. And well, yeah, yeah. They're either going to really want to annoy Judd, or they're going to try and go maybe he's right. But you know, I think it's. Um... I think there's a, there's a certain extent, like you know, when they're banging on about Patsy Fagan or whatever. Uh, 
apparently Stephen Hendry's playing against Patsy Fagan and he, is, the yeah, he is, yeah, he is, yeah, he is. That'll be a that'll be a classic. <laughs> yeah, I think Dennis has got Barry Pinches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to place a bet now. There won't be a break higher than 20 in that match. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it's very rare nowadays that Barry Pinch is, is the favourite in a match. <laughs> well, yeah, is. yeah. yeah. I mean, John Parrott's making his comeback as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> I I think he missed a power bar there, you know. I think he did. That's, that's a foul but from Allen. It's made no but... difference because the cue ball's still over there. Oh, he's uh, he's put him back here. That's Tom. Yeah, might, I'm a bit surprised there. I think I would have I would have made him play from where he was, but uh... well, maybe he was hoping for the free miss roll to get the frame over. <laughs> I know I was hoping for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um. Well, this is exactly how we would all play, yeah? but I think we all know that it's not uh, as exciting as <clears throat> you know real, real snooker because it's just how the game works, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think any other. Uh, do you think any other previous snooker games were like this multiplayer? Um, I think because long pots were traditionally a little bit more difficult in older snooker games maybe you'd be a bit more inclined to play a bit more of an attack and safety but um, you know this has been the first true snooker game to come out in in the multiplayer world really so Mm. um, it's such a tough one because I I was having this conversation with with Halborn actually um, which you'll see in in Jay Page's match uh, coming up tomorrow and um you know, we talked about uh, what we'd like to see going forward with snooker games, and um, how do you make long pots harder? <laughs> you know, is it a case of shortening the the aiming aids? Is it making it really wide? The the sort of Conan effect, because um, they've got so many things right in this game for the difficulty, but long pots is something I feel they've definitely got wrong. Um, for me, well, I, I would say they've got it wrong if you want it to be a hardcore simulation. But I think they, I feel like it, they were, they had a mix. They wanted it to be a mix between a simulation, but also like an accessible game. And they've kind of yeah. No, well, I there, I completely is... understand that. But but my argument would be that for people playing Master Plus, um, Aminade, hmm. um, you know. I don't. I wouldn't say there's many casual fans playing that. Um, yeah. You know, personally, um, I mean, he's just missed a long pot, as I'm saying that they're, they're too easy. Uh, <laughs> and well, he's he's oh, well, left yeah. Tom a, a glorious opportunity here. There we go. Sparrow says they're not too easy, mate. He's proved you wrong. Yeah. Damn you, Sparrow. Oh. And that's oh, a... and Tom Lewis has got custard on his face. This is hideous. <laughs> that's a, that's another really that's that's one of the toughest shots in the game is the sort of cutback, um, particularly on this difficulty. I think cutbacks are harder than than they should be in this. You know. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Yeah, I think it's with how thin the power bar goes. I think that's what makes it even harder. One. But, that um, was a nice pot. A good yeah. nudge on the pink. Hopefully, this might open up again. Maybe. Well, he's looking to see if the black goes. This is tight. I mean, speaking about previous games, Joe, did you know that uh, WSC 11, I believe the servers are still online? Are they? Yeah. Oh. Well, he's missed the black. Uh, maybe we'll have to, have to try and hook up a game on that if you've, if you've still got it, that is. Let's do it. Let's bring it back. That should Maybe be next year's uh, virtual championship. Sorry, community world championship. What well, is that? Uh, there's actual tournaments in that game. One. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, you can. Yeah, oh, you can mate. set them up, can't you? But I've, I've just realised what we should do. We should do that for the UK championship. We should have like a triple mm. crown of different snooker games. <laughs> yeah, play a Jimmy Jimmy White's World Tour snooker for. Um, <laughs> for, the, for the masters six yeah 
Oh dear. Um, no, I, I think that would be cool if we if we hooked up. May, maybe we just limit it to. Um, maybe just me, you, Toby, and I don't know Halborn. <laughs> if he's got a PS3 knocking about and just a copy of the game, or we'll just a, <laughs> have Seven. a four-way tournament on it. Um, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> I mean, meanwhile, no luck. They'll, they'll they'll turn the servers off like next week. Nine. Now, yeah, I, I just don't understand how the servers still are still going because obviously Blade Interactive don't exist anymore. <laughs> May, maybe they did, they didn't turn off the uh, the the lucky as they left the building for the last yeah. time, and, and just <laughs> one fine. one day <laughs> another company will buy the their grounds and they'll be like, "What on earth is this?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they'll just hear. Yeah, John Virgo <laughs> talking about <laughs> cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> They'll be like, what on earth? <laughs> They'll be like, why did they ever make him record that? What's going on? Like... Ten. <laughs> oh dear. I guarantee you that wasn't scripted. I reckon Virgo just went off on one. Well, it's, I mean, there's some bizarre comments on that, isn't there? Um... <laughs> <laughs> to say the least <laughs> oh dear apologies to anybody watching we're just uh, getting hysterical here about uh, a 10 year old game <laughs> um, oh, go watch Joe's let's play of it it's, <laughs> it's in many ways it'll always be my favourite just for John Virgo's <laughs> bizarre comments uh, yeah I- I'll have to do some no commentary videos on it and, and just have uh, Virgo blasting Blasted on it. Uh, I mean the the sound quality. I mean maybe they were using Eurosport Allen, microphones 15. to to do it because <laughs> it's it's absolutely appalling. But um, I mean, how did it go so wrong? They they made WSC 09 two years before, and then they come out with the tripe that is <laughs> eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it was I just yeah I, I think it was a game that was rushed out for the world championships because it was actually the year I went what to the bit, crucible and it was a bit um, like snooker 19 was well yeah in in, in, in a way yeah um but I actually remember when I went to the crucible that this game was just uh was like plastered all over um the crucible <laughs> there was copies <laughs> of it everywhere I don't know whether people have bought it Joel and Murphy. you know what? played it once and thought, oh, this is a load of garbage," and just placing it, you know, in, in places around the crucible. That was a foul from uh, oh, well, that Tom was Lewis. An old there. Shot. <laughs> oh dear, he's not great at getting oh, out of snookers, Tom, is he? Sean Murphy, six. He's not, but I mean, it's <clears> been a uh, it's been a very strange frame. This isn't it, it has, yeah. I, I mean, it started off fairly fluent. Uh, somehow, both players have got. A reasonable amount of points. Most of them are from fouls, I think. Um, oh, that was that was very risky. Does this red pass the blue? It might do, you know. If you just mm. drop this in off the draw, off the jaw, he's gonna go for it. We'll find oh. out. I mean, this should be a frame-winning shot if it goes in. Yeah, if it goes in, look at the colours. But he is eight points behind, so he will need that pink. <clears throat> He's coming round the other side to have a look, and there's just a, a levitating queue. <laughs> <laughs> now that reminds me of the really old snooker games. Now that levitating queue. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Without any character models. <clears throat> well, I say the really old snooker games. It could be Snooker <laughs> Nation, to be honest. Oh, but yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, no, oh, that, that, that flew past. That flew past in the end, One. but. Uh, I mean, I, I think you can turn off the character models on on 2005 and 2004 and whatever. So you can just have levitating cues if you if you wish. <laughs> why would you do that? I, mean, I, I know <laughs> I why you might want to turn idea. off the an- I know why you want to turn off the animation because the referee takes a bloody age, <laughs> doesn't he? He does. <laughs> Oh dear, and yeah, you, you'll uh, people watching, you'll find that out when, because um, after I have finished Snooker Nineteen, I am going to be going back to <laughs> two thousand and five and trying to do a season on there, and we'll we'll see how long hey. that lasts. But um, 
Oh, you've got to commit I mean, to I, I absolutely that. love love that game. It, it, I, th- I think I might slightly prefer it to Snooker 19 uh, in, in the grand scheme of it all. Um, it just it, it is just the, the most polished Snooker game of them all, in my opinion. Um, but uh, no, I'm looking forward well, to it. Um, and that'll be starting in a, in a couple of weeks. I think once this tournament's wrapped up and we've crowned our new world champion. But Sperrin, blue and pink required, and this looks absolutely inch perfect. He's played this 17. well this break. Yeah, no. Best of uh, best of five this, <clears throat> this round, I believe. It is, yes. Best of fa- five in the in the last 16. Um, I believe Tom and, and Sperrin played all of the frames as, as one frame matches because Snooker 19 is... Um, Notorious for crashing halfway through an online match, so some people have decided to play one frame matches just to, to try and keep it uh, going. But there you Still go, Sperrin will be delighted. Uh, he didn't play very well, but he's won the frame and he leads by one frame to nil. So, uh, Sperrin breaking off in frame two here. Very uh, conventional break off as John Virgo has started calling it. Mm, and this is basically this looks good. Mark Williams. Looks good. Um, that's a lovely little break off, yeah. Perfect. He's not left anything on. And we know Tom can't get out of snookers. <laughs> so, this could be match over. Could well be. Oh. No, he's left it. He's left it. Yeah, that was unlucky. He did alright with that. I thought it was close. Well, uh, do you want to hear how the real life Sean Murphy's doing? Uh, well, do I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I really don't know. Well, that's uh, one. <laughs> It's it's eleven eleven. <laughs> oh, uh, <yeah. laughs> if, if ever there were a time I wish your channel wasn't PG, Joe, it's when you <laughs> bring me news like that. He's just knocked in a ton in frame twenty twenty two. Who? What Sean has? Or... No, 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 no. Oh no, uh, the other one. So yeah, no. if anyone should have demon eyes, it should be the other one. <laughs> yeah, the other one. The, the, thou who shall not be named. <laughs> the, the Voldemort. Of <laughs> uh, there was a feature on um, a during the mid-session interval, and um, I think it was Jack Lazowski was was saying that uh, this person that shall not be named was one of the most genuine guys he's ever met, and uh, yeah, he, he's probably his best mate. So. Yeah, but that means he's he's massively biased. <laughs> well, correct. Yeah, it'd be like like having like a, a feature on, on. Uh, I mean, I was about to say they wouldn't do it with anything else, but I've just remembered when sometimes they've asked, uh, like Boris Johnson's dad about how he thinks his son's doing. It's like, yeah, well, of course yeah. he's going to go. Yeah, I think he's doing great because it's like, do you know what I mean? You're not going to mm. go. Yeah, he's doing a bit rubbish actually. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Sperrin um, Sean Murphy isn't as seven. good at, at a plant as uh, as Captain Goodspeed, is he? That was no, that was a long way no. off. <laughs> I mean, uh, how does this make you feel, Joe? Because I reckon part one. of you right now, you'll be thinking you could take both of these. Well, well uh, <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Um, hey, you know, I think both of these players are better than what they're showing at the moment, but. Um, no, the, the less said about my match, the better, really. Um, wow. I, I had a lot of people very upset with, with my performance in that well, match. Well, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of money lost at Betfred, Joe. I know, I know. Thousands. Yeah, I, know. I, I, I love it when um, you see people on Twitter having a go at Mark Williams or whoever, saying, oh, I had a bet on your match and you lost. How Nine. dare you? <laughs> I mean, I think... <laughs> I think that's really weird, but what is absolutely absurd is when they 
they have to go to someone like Peter Devlin for losing. And I'm like, if you're going to bet on anyone, don't don't 16. bet on someone outside the top 64 and expect them to win. Because odds are they're not yeah. going to. So don't bet on that. somebody that hasn't won a match ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're not going to go, oh, damn you, Alex Borg. Why didn't you win the World Championship? <laughs> It's so true. It's so true. Oh dear. Seventeen. Well, this is a, a decent start from Tom Lewis here. If, this is, uh, this is, uh... if there hadn't been seven points scored, he'd have been on a one-four-seven here. That's very true. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of the the Joe Johnson comment. I don't know if you've seen it. Have you? Um, Oh, what's he gone for here? He's gone away from the black. That's very surprising. He has done, but uh, I think he was eyeing up the next reds. That's quite a decent positional shot, really. Go on then. What was the uh, what was the Joe Johnson comment? <laughs> well, there was there was a statistic in the Higgins Williams match, um, and I think it was ten five. Um, and to to Williams at the time, and John Higgins had 23. a a much higher pot success percentage. And uh, Phil Yates, as he does, he was like, well, how is uh, how's John Higgins behind in this match with that sort of stat? And Joe Johnson goes, yeah. well, he's not won as many frames. <laughs> <laughs> All words to that effect. Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's, it's, very, it's very true. <laughs> but, I mean, that's... You know, I, I think it's... At, it's 31. exactly the same as going like, oh, a footballer, a football team has had a hundred percent of their shots on target, and it's like, yeah, but if they had one shot and Man City have twenty shots, <laughs> and Man City score three of them, they're still gonna win. Like, mm. Mm. like Higgins could have had you know one shot, and then he could still lose and get a hundred percent percentage. It's it's kind 36. of thirty-six. It's misleading, I think. Mm. Meanwhile. Uh... Tom's got a little bit awkward here. I'm not sure where his next red's coming from. Well, it's the highest break of the uh, the match so far. I think. It is. It's it's actually been the the best snooker. Oh, this red goes well. I can't wow. believe that pass. I mean, you would never have been able to tell that from this angle. But uh, thirty-seven. Wow. Well, there you go. Good little break. This and this is a decent chance now for Tom. Yeah, maybe he'll be a- aiming for the eighty-three part of his one four seven eight three name, but um, no, it's very good. Drops the blue oh, in. He's over halfway there now. Indeed, I Maybe think he 42. might have just overran this. You know, I don't know if he can get to the red just to the right of the black, but if he can. I can't see him messing it up from here. It's just nice to see the reds in the open, really, because uh, mm. you just know that the frame's not going to be too much longer, really. Yeah, or it's not going to, you know, it's not going to get you'd think into a horrendous tippy tappy uh, masterclass. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you would hope not. I mean, he's spending a lot of time on this, so. I suspect he's not on a... Well, well he's, he's missed, missed that to the right middle. I don't think he could get to it. I think he was just convincing himself that that went. Mark Allen, 42. But well, a decent break of 42, but uh, Sperrin will be delighted to be back at the table. Oh, and he's not got this safe, has he? This is a... Well, no, it oh. wasn't a shot to nothing. Um, and if Sperrin so takes his red on... One? Why is he going for this one, Joe, and not the nearer one? I think the reason is he wants to try and develop the reds and turn it straight into a frame-winning chance, but um, no, he's, he's totally baffled me with this red. But he has knocked it in, and hey, he did get into the reds, and he's on the black, I think. Well, uh, one. Oh, I mean, if not, he's definitely got the blue, so... Yeah, he's oh, no, on there the we black, go. though. Well, this there's always a gap. Play. <laughs> Thank you, Virgo. <laughs> well, they're all covering each other a little bit in that right corner. So, what I'd be doing here is 
trying to keep the white pretty much where the black is, but uh, he's going for the yellow here. It certainly wouldn't be my choice, but uh, hey, Sperrin's still in this competition. I'm not, so I think... Uh, well, I'm... yeah, you're a bit like Stephen Hendry now. You can't really be too critical. Cause... <laughs> yeah, well, that's amateurish. <laughs> he's just knocked in a one four two, and Oh, that's am- amateurish. Should have been a one four three. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I think Henry's almost been knocked down a couple of pegs after his uh, exploits <laughs> recently in in professional snooker, but um, uh, I think so. Yeah, he certainly yeah. seems to not be as harsh in the commentary box anymore. But uh, well, Four. that was a good shot from Sperrin to get back onto this. He's playing the pink here now. He just needs to check where the pink spots. Um, because I certainly can't tell from me. I mean, he had three goals at pressing triangle there. Uh, he did, yeah. And got it the third time. The, the pink spot is free, but I always find, and, and if people who've watched my videos before, I, I never really like potting the pink when there's a lot of reds around the pink spot because I just think it makes things a little bit awkward. Um, but he has played it, and... Ten. He's in the middle of nowhere here, really. I don't know what ready he'll go for here. The red up the cushion, maybe? <laughs> well, this is one you'd never see in real life, but this is uh, this is a little bit ambitious. Certainly playing it at the pace he's going to. If he misses it, it'll stay over the pocket. I think it's there. It is there. Good shot. Oh. 11. That is one of the shots of the round, definitely. That was fantastic. Yeah, it, 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 you just know when when you just drop them in, the pockets are, are very welcoming, uh, that sort of shot. This just is a drop. decent uh, start of a counter clearance. and I mean, this will hurt Tom Lewis if he 16. doesn't win this. Well, yeah, and of course he'll be 2 0 down and he'll feel like he could have been 2 0 up. But. Um, there's still a few little issues to negotiate. Those three reds beneath the pink, although they're open, 17. they're difficult to get on. I might be tempted um, to try and play a cannon on them at some point, but he just keeps getting into this position where he's too straight on the, the yellow. He can't get to the pink or black. Um, so he's having to play... Well, he's playing the brown this time, and... Getting on those reds is just going to be the the issue here. But here we go. Mm, I think the the red that is 21. right of the the sort of triangle. I think that goes to the right middle. Yep, there you go. But these aren't easy. How do no, you fancy this not. one, Tom? Absolutely not. I'd be playing safe here, Joe. This is madness. <laughs> he's lost his mind. It's, oh, a good, he's a, it's a good pot, though. It's a very good pot. That's power custard right there. This is... Uh, and you'll be very happy to know that, that Murphy's uh, gone one frame away from the semi-final. Whew, that's a relief. Come on, Murphy. In, in real life. I'm, I'm entirely yes. neutral in this game. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's at the table at the moment, and it would be nice to see this match brought to life almost by... 27. Um, by a, a decent counter-clearance. Now, does that red beneath the pink pass the other red? He, he hasn't actually come round to look at it. He's gone straight for the swerve. I know you're <laughs> a fan of a swerve, Tom. Yep. <laughs> Oh, but if you don't oh. get it right in the middle, you make a mess oh, of it. No. And Tom Lewis will come to the table absolutely Schumer, thrilled. 27. These three reds in perfect positions. He's got eight points uh, as his lead. Three reds, three colours. And he's back on level terms here. Yeah, well, this is, this is the type of frame. Whoever <clears throat> loses it will feel like they've thrown it away, won't they? Yeah, I mean, you'd rather be in Sperrin's position knowing that at least it's only going to be one all. If Tom Lewis loses it 2 nil, I don't see him coming back from there. One. I've got to be honest. Mm. 
But just um, had a decent cue ball, and he should uh, have his first frame on the board here. Yes, hope. yeah. Uh, I mean, you play for the red just to the right of the black here, um, and hopefully that opens up the the other red into the left corner eventually. Six. Um, I'd, I'd try and hold for the black here. I've got a funny feeling he'll screw back for the blue just to be safe, but uh... I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame him for that at this moment in the match. I think uh, you'd rather guarantee some pot than. Uh... But what's he wow. done to the red? That's I don't a... think he played the cannon there, Seven. but it's it's gone okay, and he can now pop out, the black. He's had some. He's had a bit of a bit of ball run there. Hasn't yeah, he? ball run tornado. There. <laughs> um, but no, that's a that couldn't have been better, really. This 14. red and any colour. Well, this red and at least the brown. So you would think this is frame over. Yeah, when well, they both started well, I'll say. You know, it's uh it's been cagey, it's been nervy, it's not been perfect, but... No, it's not been sentries, but it's certainly been intriguing. Uh, I know we, you know, during the first frame it, it got a little bit scrappy, but this frame, you know, it's only been about 12 minutes or so, um, this frame so far. And oh, he's what, actually... That's why I called him Tornado, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go, yeah. the blue drops, and... Uh... It is going to be one frame apiece. 20. And Tom Lewis will be absolutely delighted. And uh, I have to say, in the balls, uh, Tom has, has, has looked the slightly better of the two players, I think. Um, well, but safety I play, I would say, Sperrin is, is, is definitely um, a level above. In my yeah, opinion. I feel like Sperrin needs to find his inner Selby here to... Uh... To yep. you know, force Tom into a mistake instead of trying to force it himself. Twenty-five. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he'll want to clear them up here, and get another forty odd break. Be nice. And they're starting to go into the heart of the pocket now. Tom, he's got a little bit of confidence in there. Twenty-nine. Mm, he's a dangerous opponent, isn't he? He really is, and I and I, I do think uh, he's got such a passion for it. Um, and well, you know, I, mean, I, I would I would have a passion <clears> if I'd <throat> made a high break of fourteen thousand seven hundred. <laughs> well, yeah, it's very true, Tom. Very true. <laughs> or eighty three one four sevens, whichever way you <laughs> yeah. want to look at it. Yeah, I mean that's that's forty. I mean, that's almost half of all the 147s in real life, surely. There can't be that many more. Mm. I know Dave Gilbert made the 147 for a while ago, but this is a lovely clearance. There we yeah. go. Yep. Yeah. And there you go, Tom Lewis, with that lovely little clearance 47. of 47. Gives himself the frame, and uh, it's now one frame apiece. Okay, then. Here we are for frame three. Tom Lewis is going to be breaking off. Um, one all in this match, and I, I, you just get the feeling that whoever wins this next frame may well go on to win the match. And uh, Sperrin going for, a, uh, sorry, uh, Tom Lewis going for a very very thin break off there, which um, hey, it it doesn't open the reds at all, but uh, it doesn't really give him any sort of advantage for me. And that could no. be the, the difference in this match. But, you know, does it make too, any any difference? Uh, Sperrin is going to... Well, he was looking like he was going to play a containing safety. Now it looks like it's going to be a roll-up. So roll it looks up. like the roll-up counter is going to be affected by this one. And it's now one to Sperrin. <laughs> one all. One all. all. Yep. I don't think Tom Lewis will go for this. This would be... Uh... No, oh, it would be a bit ambitious to go for this, I think. Yeah, he's not he's not uh Judd Trump. He's not gonna No. Just a little thin one and again this needs to pick up the pace just a little bit. Is it gonna keep going? Oh 
A little bit unlucky there, but he's left a, a fairly tricky safety here for Sperrin. Roll up. <laughs> here we go. Two okay. One to Sperrin. Two one to Sperrin. Is that foreshadowing for what the frame score is going to be into <laughs> this one? If anyone wants to guess at this point in the video how many roll ups there will be for each <laughs> player. Yeah. Oops. Oh, here we go. And, yeah, okay. uh, you, you know, I, I mean, we do apologise for this, but please you do um, remember that, <laughs> you know, if one mistake and, and somebody could clear up. So that's that's what's at stake here. And, uh, you know, certainly for, for Tom, I know it means a lot to him to be in this tournament. So, um, you know, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see... A little battle of roll-ups here. Do you know what, Joe? I loved your complete honesty there. Just going, we do apologise for this. <laughs> I Sorry. think Eurosport could have said that during the Hendry Jimmy White match. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, because because you know, I know a lot of people do criticise the the online matches for the amount of roll-ups that there are, but. The reason is 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 what we alluded to before about the the long pot and being slightly easier than it would be in real life, and you do see a lot of tapping up in real life as well. So you know it's not an unrealistic part of the sport um, that's depicted there. But uh, I'd be surprised. Well, he is playing a roll up. I was going to say I'd be surprised if he plays one here. He's four two up now in this uh, in this battle, and that may well be touching, is it? No, not not called by Brendan Moore there. Maybe he's half asleep watching this. So didn't check. <laughs> but um, whenever you say uh, the referee's name, I always remember you calling him Brendan Rogers. When it makes smile. <laughs> I have to think every single time. <laughs> I'm like, right, it's definitely Moore, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sean Murphy, sixty-one points in front, with sixty-seven on the table in frame. Um, twenty four, I think, in the real life match, <laughs> which uh, you know gives away to anyone watching this in in uh, August that we're we're watching this on the day that Judd Trump hopefully got knocked out of the two thousand and twenty one <laughs> World Championship. Oh, uh, that'll be the best day of the championship so far. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. Murphy's going for a, a long ball here. Nope. Oh, dear. I think I jinxed him, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, two-cushion escape from Tom Lewis there. I don't think we can count that one as a roll-up. I think mean, that was just a, a genuinely good shot. <laughs> Unlike all the roller. At that one, you know, I'll let him get away with it. But uh... <laughs> this is a uh, yeah, this is like the equivalent of if Peter Ebden played against Peter Ebden no or something way. like that. It's just so sorry, Tom. You will not believe what has just happened. What? Judd Trump's just missed one by a mile, and it's gone into the middle pocket. <sighs> But he's tight against the cushion with a black into the into the corner. That sentence started so promisingly. And he and he's got he's got to, he's got to pot it otherwise he needs snookers, so there's pressure on it. And he has got it. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, it's four three in the uh, in the roll up game. Because Sparon <laughs> just played a, a, a mini roll up there. Oh, come on, Sean Murphy. And certainly, uh, you know, I think going forward, um, you know, if we were to do a community championship next year, and uh, oh, Sparrow playing a double here. Oof, that was uh, a bit of a change of form. Um, but uh, yeah, if we were to do a community championship next year, and, and certainly so far that there's been a lot of interest in, in this tournament, and uh, we really do appreciate that. Um, Maybe we'd look to, to make sort of highlights packages of it to cut out all of the sort of defensive negative play 
Um, oh, I, th- I thought you were going to say we were going to do uh, shootout rules or something. <laughs> shootout rules. Yeah. Uh, no, we, we're not going to do that. What a cracker that is from oh. from Tom Lewis. Lovely pop. Meanwhile, Judd Trump has just missed a sitter. So. Yay! I'm, try- I'm trying to sit. Yeah, Murphy's got one over the pocket here, so I don't think he's he's going to miss this one. And Judd Trump, the the wonderful young man from Bristol, <laughs> is on his way. <laughs> oh, Tom, Tom, he Tom, Tom! It. He missed that by an absolute mile as well, which is quite a surprise because the the long blue is usually a, a trademark of of everyone's oh, game in, in Snooker Nineteen, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so just the one point separating them at the moment. A lovely view of Sean Murphy's derriere there. Oh, that's what we <laughs> chewed in for, Joe. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I have to like... say, somebody had enjoyed themselves when they were animating, animating those shots. <laughs> Wonder whose bum they modelled it on. Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think they got Stephen Lee. <laughs> 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 oh, well, he's still he's still in the game then. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the only way he got in. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that pause! Did you see oh. that? <laughs> that was uh, that was very impressive. That was a lovely little ballet move by Sean. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know he was capable of that. Well, there you go. There you go. Oh, Murphy's giving it the big pump, a fist pump around the arena as Trump uh, slumps off uh, on his merry way. Probably going to Dubai again with Jack Lazowski now. <laughs> No doubt. Well, I don't know if you've watched much of the uh, the BBC coverage over the last few days, but um, what have you thought of Jack Lazowski's punditeering? I think it's a... I mean, I think it's a bit of a strange move, really, because for me, players who become pundits tend to be the ones who... Uh, not always, but when I think of like Willie Fawn and John Virgo, you know they they didn't win that much, and I I wonder whether Jack's consigning himself to always be like a nearly man and just going well, I can just get some money from this sport and then just <laughs> well, I, I I think it might be a response to the whole Judd outburst. Oh, oh, hang on. He has another roll up, but he didn't get there, so uh, I don't know if that counts. No, yeah, I'm not going to. Is that minus one or not? That, <laughs> that might be a minus one, to be fair. Foul and a miss. Might be back to three Sean all, though. Four. Threes each. Um, but I think it might be a, a response to the, the whole. Um, or BBC, uh, just have the old fogies on, and, you know. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's interesting because the BBC. From everybody else, bar Judd Trump is seen as a very ageist uh, corporation. <laughs> mm. So um, it is uh, it is rather interesting. Well, I think you need to, uh, you know, there needs Touching to ball. be just a bit more respect for like the history of the game. I mm. think it's. I think, you know, I, I think it is a fair point that yes, they do sometimes go on a bit about the old stuff occasionally a bit too much but at the same time it did feel like Judd was a bit disrespectful with, uh... yeah I, I mean my point has always been uh, and I think um, you know when um, when Rachel has, has ever watched Snooker um, which she does quite a lot now um, but whenever it's on Eurosport she, she comments on the fact that it is just silent between shots and mm. in safety battles and you know, where, and I think John and Dennis particularly are very good at keeping that conversation going. And yeah, they might be talking about something that happened in 1967, but it it just you know breaks the awkwardness and and keeps you engaged in it, even though there's nothing going on really. 
well, that's the commentary I like. There's, yeah. there's a warmth to it. There's a friendliness to it. Yeah. You know? Which um, is exactly what we're doing right now because nothing's going on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, we're keeping the conversation going. Imagine if we were just sat here in silence waiting for Tom to take on the uh, this very uh, reminiscent shot to what I played on the black in the uh, <laughs> on the respot in my match. <laughs> Although I think this w- would have been a lot easier. Are you getting pocket. flashbacks, Joe? Is that what's happening? I am, but uh, Tom's... Uh, sorry, Sperrin's played it perfectly uh, there, and he's got a decent angle on this green. Uh, maybe go... Oh, he's thinking ooh, blue. This, this, this is ambitious. Is... I love this. This is the type of swing that I want to see. One. You know, just taking the match by the scruff of the neck, and he knocks the blue in. That's a beautiful shot. And he barely thought about it, Joe. He just went for it straight away. Yeah. And, and you know what? I think I think all the top players are like that. Um, you know, they just get down, play the shot, get those reds as spread as they can uh, as soon as possible, and and that's why they they're so good. But uh, that sort of shot, you know, can catch you out, but it, it's straight in, and he's going to be straight down here, knocking the blue in. I would suggest seven. Well, that's what I'd be doing. <laughs> Yep, here There's we a little go. pause there just to make me second guess you. I was just like, what's he going to do? <laughs> oh, I did think, no. I thought the yellow, I thought he might go to his trusty yeah, custard Sp- cream. Yeah, Sperrin does like a yellow, doesn't he? And I, I remember he, he did a lot in last year's World Championship as, as well. As uh, you can see, here's Lurvin in the background, actually. Look, <laughs> you, can you see her, Tom? Yeah, I can, yeah. Hi, Hazel, you're right. <laughs> and that might be Steve Davis next to her as well, so... <laughs> An all-star crowd for this uh, this cracker of a match, uh, but it has been a, it's certainly been an intriguing match. I've I've, I've actually enjoyed it. It's not uh, it's not been drab at all. I, I wouldn't say there's um, no there was there was no uh, tedious twenty minute safety battles on the black ball, Joe. No, no, none none of that. Don't know who would ever play like that. <laughs> yeah. That would uh, have been uh, edited in the highlight reel. I, I mean, if <laughs> if if I'm honest with you, I was um, uh, Rachel sat with me for that match, so we were talking through the shots, and I was trying to talk her through my oh. thinking for a lot of it, which is why it was taken as long as it was. <laughs> oh mate, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall there. Uh, yeah, that, that green. You know how I was in two minds on the, on the green. A lot. I was yeah. saying, well, I want to play the pot, and she was saying, no, you'll never get that. <laughs> so we were debating well, the pros and cons of it, and I, oh. yeah, I sort of forgot that we were that we were recorded and that was going to come out. But uh, yeah, and I wish you know, recorded that. I would have loved to have heard that. I mean, to be fair, if 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 it was just me, that match would have been over a lot sooner because I would have just played a different shot on the black. <laughs> it was. Um, what, so do you think you would have won if it was just you? No, well, no, I, not necessarily. I just it just would have been over a lot quicker because I would have one of us would have made a mistake quicker. Um, Joseph than... Hannard, are you blaming your loss on your girlfriend? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I I actually think I would have lost quicker. I think that's the reason I was in yeah. it for so long was because uh, she was persuading me to just 17. keep making Lee play the adventurous shots so, but um, yeah she'll be after a, a cut when you finally win <laughs> when I finally get out of the last 32 of a tournament yeah yeah rightly <laughs> so <laughs> meanwhile Sperrin uh, going along nicely here 18 I mean it's 18. been a lot of work for 18 points and not often you see 5 red spotted and only um <laughs> Only eighteen points scored, but uh, you know it's uh, it is a an awkward little table just because of where the the pink and the black are. Even though they're on the spots virtually, um, reds are surrounding them, and uh, mm, that was interesting. That shot there. Mm, he's played for this red down the the right hand side cushion. Twenty three. Which I expect him to get, but. Um, I think he might play with an element of safety though. Yeah, knocks it in though. Oh, well, there we go. It's and nice perfect on the, on the blue this time. Um, these are the sort of breaks I, I hate making. 24. Because 
you just never know really what to do next. You're always second guessing what you're doing. He's playing this one with a bit of pace, which is probably what I'd do. Just trying to bring them into play a little bit. But it's gone wrong. It's gone very wrong. And that's what can happen. You you lose your patience a little bit. You're trying to make it too easy for yourself. And uh, in turn, you've made it a lot harder. But um, Well, that's well. What's, I think that's what's fantastic about this game, though. You, know, you can watch your matches back, and there's so many shots where you could play it ten times and it would be slightly different every time. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying it, it went wrong. This looked a lot thinner from this uh, this angle, but uh, it's actually not not too bad, but if he misses it, he's leaving them all on, and he has mm. missed it. Mm. I'm sure I've just heard a big shout-out from a member of the crowd there. No word of a lie. Uh, what did they somebody say? saying, they go say, on, Mark. Sure, Murphy, sure they didn't go, 29. Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to try and find that in the uh, in the edit. Is it one one minute? So do we, one hour do, or do, five? Let's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's note that because is that? Do you think a feature that was coded one. but not completed, so they just removed it? I think it is a feature. Um, it because it. I, well, I don't know if you remember. Um, in one of my. Barry Hawkins. Yeah, Barry Hawkins. Come on, mm. the Hawk. Um, somebody just going, come on the hawk. <laughs> it was probably that uh, snooker cutie, you know, on uh, on Twitter. Seven. Don't well, know if you've come across say, it. I was going to say, are you sure it wasn't your girlfriend in the other room just cheering him on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's still watching the Sel uh, the the Mark Selby Mark Williams match, not realizing they're both called Mark and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Or Eight. maybe she's she's wanting uh, to hide the fact that she supports both players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. But um, yeah, no, it's uh, it's a strange one. You just see, sort of hear the the calls. <laughs> um, Fifteen. Randomly, but they're very quiet. Yeah. And well, I, I think with things like the the mobile phone going off and the referee telling them off for having a mobile phone and all that stuff. It does feel like there was the ambition to make it a more uh, realistic... 16. ...audience sound effects and everything like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they maybe... They just probably run out of time. And maybe run out of well, I think... Ways. You know, I think if the game had another year, you know, and made it snooker 20, I think it would have... It would have been perfect, but... Um, Twenty-three. Hey, we, you know, we're we're very very grateful for for what we've got, and it, I, I, you know, for me, it's probably about 80, 85 percent of of the snooker game that would be perfect for me. I think. Um, Twenty-four. I'd like to see player introductions. It, you know, it doesn't have to be anything too special. Just what they've got in the old World Snooker Championship games. Um. Well, tournament trees as well is a big thing for you. Well, that's it? a massive one for me, yeah. yeah. 30. And more um, random opponents. Yeah, I mean, more very odd opponents like Tom Ford. <laughs> very odd, yeah. You... Very odd, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, 31. I mean, I could not believe that. And, and that's how ridiculous it is that, that I was in that much shock that I played Tom Ford in the semi final of the shootout. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but um... I can remember once on a World Championship 2005, I had started the season quite badly, and then I got a draw against Leo Fernandez, and I was like, "Oh, this will be a nice easy <laughs> match." And then he got a one four seven against me, and I was like, "For God's sake!" Thirty six. Yeah. And then yeah. I went on his Wikipedia page, and he's never got a one four seven in real life, and I was like, <laughs> "This is not accurate. This is not fair." Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And that's what I did like about that game. You know that the AI could make breaks like that. Ooh, I thought I thought Tom was going on to clinch the frame there, but uh, he's missed that red. And it's just Allen, four points 36. in this. All three of the these frames could have went either way here. Yeah, I was about to say it's another one where they'll both feel like they uh, could have won it, which is amazing, really. Yeah, this one looks a little bit thin to me. We'll soon find out. 
No, it's okay actually. Wow. It's nicely on the black. Maybe the pink, maybe the pink, maybe the pink, one. Yeah, going on his form so far. Uh, yeah, straight down to the pink. Didn't even think about the black. I just find that very interesting that the players have such very different ways of going about it and what they prefer, what they're comfortable with. But that's a, a lovely positional shot for this how red. Do you, how do you feel about when commentators uh, predict shots? Uh, I I like it personally, but what well, what about you? Well, no, I, I I don't mind it, but I'm just curious because I I watched uh, the Masters final with my grandpa, and he's ninety, Eight. and he hates it. He goes, why why are you keep telling me what shot they're going to play? I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, that's very interesting. I I I quite like sort of hearing it and seeing well, it come whether, off. 50, I don't know whether but... it's an age thing, whether it was less common in the uh, the early yeah. era of snooker or not but yeah he, he has it <laughs> well, on mute because it really annoys him I mean that's a, that's the a ridiculous thing about uh, Judd Trump's comments that you know Ted Lowe um, didn't exactly draw lines on the table and uh, talk about Walter Donaldson in 1951 you know it, it's not as if the BBC have always been this style of commentary yeah um it just happens to be both John and Dennis's style, uh, you 16. know, do virtually the same job, uh, other than Dennis likes to talk about the wives a little bit more. But, uh... <laughs> but thank you, though. If you, if you have someone like Dennis still with us and still commentating, and Steve Davis, like, you would be wasting them 21. if you didn't talk about it while they're here. Yeah. I genuinely believe that because they're not going to be here forever. I mean, why would you not take advantage of that and just talk about it as much as you can? Because yeah. it was such a huge historical event, not just for snooker, but for British television as well. Do you know what I mean? It was mm. huge. Mm. Mm. Meanwhile, that was a um, an interesting shot. Though. Playing that was side, that was risky because that could have went wrong. It was. But, I felt it was being distracted a bit, Joe, but this is a lovely little break here. Yeah, he's 19 points in front, so green and brown required. And he doesn't want to do what uh, Captain Goodspeed did earlier in the week and mess us up. No, never do a Captain Goodspeed. That's good advice. No, it is a good, it's excellent advice. But there you go. <laughs> he's all right on this brown, you know. Now, you've just got to be a little 26. bit careful of the in-off into the right middle here. If you play this with any sort of stun... It would go in, but now he's just absolutely making sure. And Ooh, there it goes. So Sean Murphy, represented by Sperrin147, is going to be 2 1 up here. 1 up with 2 to play. Good. Or possible 2 to play. But, uh, when I say that, I think maybe we shouldn't shouldn't count our chickens until the, uh, the fighter balls oh, well, in yeah. some of these matches this tournament already. Yep. Yeah. But well, that blue, blue should well. seal it, unless he loses his mind completely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, unless he does a Don's magician 35. here and <laughs> pots the uh, pots the white off this pig, but uh, I don't think there's any. To, chance I think he'd have, of that. Do, he'd have to do two or three of them, really. <laughs> he, he, he would, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, this has been a lovely break. Yeah, I think 41. it's Sperrin's highest break of the match as well. This break of 58. And. Tom will be gutted because he could have won this 3-0. Yeah. But instead, he's 2-1 behind. 48. Frame and oh, match. There you go, man. There you go. And it's 3-1 now. 2-1 uh, uh, now, <laughs> not 3-1. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are with frame four then. Refreshed and ready to go after 24 hours of not watching this match. But... Uh, Sean Murphy breaking off in frame four here. And uh, Sperrin 2-1 up. And he'll be looking to finish this match off pretty quickly. And that's not a bad break off. Yeah, well, we've done this a bit like the, the real world championship. We're, we're watching it over uh, over two days. So it's, <laughs> yeah. it's we've had our, our own little mini interval, I guess we yeah. could call it. Yeah, cup of tea break. 
Um, mm-hmm. and well, here we go. Let's see Tom Luce's wonderful getting out of snookers. Oh, wait, well, he's managed it. Well, I mean, that was a bit of a Mark Williams break there. That, <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it was, a, it was a good one. Now, does this red go into the right middle? It's very, very tight. I think it would be very risky to take on, and he's not interested. I do still actually have the tally um, for the roll-ups. It's, <laughs> it's still 4-3 to uh, Tom Lewis at the moment, and it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top in that particular battle, because that, that uh, will actually decide who gets through to the quarter-final. Uh, yeah, they don't know this yet, until they watch that, it. That yet, no, but, no. Um, oh, here we go. Well, Tom, 5-3. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good lead there, you know. Mm. So, yeah, I feel a bit of pressure commentating on this because I've, you know, um, as you have been, we've just been watching uh, the the Murphy Wilson match and Virgo's commentary. Like, I feel a bit like we're playing at the Crucible when Ronnie's just played. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, oh, well, Virgo, completely on form. Um, yeah, he's been fantastic. You know, I think uh, I think we were we were saying I don't know if it was uh, in commentary yesterday, but that the the BBC boys had had been a little bit more subdued at this tournament, maybe after what Judd had been saying. Um, mm. But certainly wasn't holding back uh, in the bits that I've just seen. But. Um, yeah, this could take a little while to sort out this. Uh, they're just sort of playing the old back and forth here. There is a that red, uh, and that the re- the whole reason they're not going uh, back to the bulk is that red there. If if you pop that and smash into the reds, they'll they'll go everywhere. Um, which I think they're both a little bit wary of at the moment. Now, did he hit that? Slightly. This feels more like a tennis match just back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a a fun little rally, but it looks like we're going to get a a roll up here from from Sperrin. So he's going to close the gap to five four, and uh, <laughs> I you know what I respect that shot because it's pushed the red back into the pack now. So there's no excuse not to go back to the bulk end. Um, so I think that was a sensible shot, and I think that's the only way this situation was ever getting resolved. But uh, I mean this we. We need a re rack button, that's what we need. Yeah, and that would be a great feature in the next game, I think, uh, to, to have a re rack option. But uh, Sperrin's got a little chance to get back to the ball key. He's got to be a little bit careful of the cue ball. Let's watch it. No, it's okay. It's going to. Let's hit the brown on the way back, but it won't make much difference. No, that's well played, and that, that brown could come into play later on if you can sneak they might be able to sneak just behind it it'd be close but possibly there's a, there's a slight chance here from this safety but wow I'm, I'm, I've got to say I'm a little bit surprised that Tom's uh, just played the roll up there I'm, I'm going to give him a roll up point for that because that Found oh he missed. he missed well Sean Murphy he missed. Four. well I mean he gets what he, what he deserves there for me <laughs> a little uh, a little flick off this red, and he could be behind the yellow here. So you see, he's well, bearing straight down, thinking about it. I believe uh, Tom Lewis has been asking you, do you think the the tournament will be better next year? I think it'd be better with less roll ups, Tom. <laughs> yeah, it'd be better if you weren't it. No, only joking, Tom. Only joking. <laughs> Don't break his heart. He'll be in tears. He'll be in tears as yeah. Rob would say. <laughs> We're only joking, Tom. Don't don't worry. Um. And I think Tom's been uh, been a great character in this tournament. Actually, he's he's kept everybody going. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. A nice normal safety shot. And you know, I mean, I think the crowd would honestly be given a stand innovation for that shot uh, after what they've been put through <laughs> so far this frame. <laughs> uh, but uh, Sperrin has got a decent chance to swing this right behind the green here if he has the pace but uh, just doesn't look like it's got the legs so decent line though but it'll be interesting to see if Tom goes back to his roll up now that he's not going the other side of the table I think he's a bit worried of hitting off the red too thin and going into the back of the pack I think we were saying this in the earlier frames the safety game doesn't seem 
top notch. Um, or he doesn't seem well, confident with it. I think that was a better shot. It felt like yeah. he was uh, much better. Probably shot. aware of the fact that it was getting very tippy tappy, and he's mm. trying to just yeah, make, just forcing the issue happen. a little bit. Um, but again, this is a decent chance. If you play that at about forty five percent, I fancy that to go towards the yellow and brown. He's going to hit the green full in the face. This is going to make a lovely target behind those three balls. If you get anywhere uh, sort of behind the brown spot, yellow spot area, you're going to be in a good position. So you said if you play that at 45%, how do you how have you become such an expert in all these numbers, Joe? Uh, is, it, is it because it's... you're a maths teacher? Is it because you just love numbers? Or is it just hours playing the game? I think it's just hours playing the game and learning the speeds you have to hit certain shots. And, you know, I, I don't know everything, as, you, as you've seen in my match. It uh, doesn't always work out. But typically, well, think, typically if, you, think... if you're playing centre ball, um, yeah. you want to be aiming for 42 to 45%. Uh, to get back to the bulk end. If it's nearer the cushion, it automatically puts top spin on it, so you want it much closer to sort of 30 to 35% to get it back mm. to the bulk. Uh, it all depends how thin or thick you're hitting it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, m- I must have played over 2,000 hours of this game now, at least. So Wow. I mean, there, there is a, a, a thing on PlayStation, actually, that I could... Have a look and, and see how many hours I've played. I don't know where exactly the button is, but uh... I mean, there's going to be thousands of hours of videos. But what a shot! What, what a, a shot! A Here shot we go. That is from Sperrin. That was terrific. One. Wow, what a cracker that was! And this, uh... I told me Lewis might be fearing for his future in this tournament. Mm. Here, well, has he played his last shot? That's. What you gotta... oh, what's Sperrin doing? Is he playing as brown? Okay, that's an interesting. Yeah, he's fine. got the long reds. He's fine. Yeah, I'd, I think I'd be playing what. Yeah, he's looking at these ones. I was going to say playing one of these three. Just leave that red nearer the pocket as a bit of insurance, but he's back looking at this one. I don't blame him. It's the easier pot, but. Uh... Yeah, but I think knowing the Creed Horn. He's gonna he's gonna play to be on the yellow again here. He <laughs> well, he does ball, he so. does like a creamy yellow, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he's like the uh, he's like the shootout crowd in that regard. They love the yellow, don't they? they do, oh, they do. Six. I mean, uh, they love a lot of uh, a lot of the balls in the on the on the table. There, they're a funny bunch, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a bizarre least. event. The I first s- time you see it. He's like, playing this with top here? and well, he was playing it with top and left hand side. Now he's playing it with bottom mm. and left hand side. Um, a lot of power on this as well. Oh, where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? Oh, oh. in the pocket. Wow. Foul. Sean Murphy. Oh dear! Six. Right in the heart Mark of the Allen, pocket. Seven. And not in a good way. Yeah. Was... Well, that could be a crucial mistake. Crucial. Yes, it, well, it could be, because uh, Sperrin looked good there, and that was a decent chance. And I don't think he needed to play it like that, if I'm honest, but uh, Tom Lewis straight down, and will he be tempted of stunning into these one. reds? Well, the one thing that he's shown he's good at so far, he's very good at potting balls and making breaks, so mm. um, if I was Sperrin, I would be... Oh, I'd be, oh my, I've wow. jinxed him, Cut. Curse of the commentator. I'm sorry, yeah, Tom Lewis. I'm commentator's sorry. Commentator's curse or what? There, I don't know what happened. That, Mark that's, Allen. Uh, one. That black's unforgivable, really. Uh, to, to, to miss a black off the, off its spot when you've been given that sort of chance. But uh, well, will he be given another one? That's the question. Here goes Sperrin with a long red, and again playing it with a load of side. I don't think he needed to, but um, he felt he did to. To make sure he got One. back up towards the blue, and he's absolutely inch perfect on it. Now, what's your play here, Tom? Would you go try and go into the red? So, or... oh, he's looking at the yellow. No, he's not. Oh, he's not. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd have to try and get into the red somehow. Cause... Yeah. Well, look at this. He's going to Stephen Hendry straight into the pack here. This this could be beautiful to watch. 
Nope. <laughs> no, no, he's not. <laughs> no. Nope. He's looking at the brown now. I'd, I think you had the right idea there, Sperrin. Uh, I think. Yeah, Sperrin, go back to what you were doing, Sperrin. Go back, mate. Come on. No, uh, it's brown nonsense. Sperrin, yeah. stop it, Sperrin. <laughs> oh. For... And Sean Murphy what? just showing off with the rest there. Yeah, didn't need yep. to use it. Just was showing everybody how <laughs> good he was using it. Uh, but uh, was, you uh, see, you know, he's not on this red as as he would would have intended. I, I honestly think those reds would have spread like butter, as uh, Chinny would say. Had that gone in, but nice pop. Where's the cue ball? It's okay. But see, he's... I think though, I think I think that was one of those uh, six. You know. One of those shots where if he wasn't playing in the tournament, he would have gone for the blue every time. Yeah, but... yeah, it's one of those where you're just trying to be too safe, and I think yeah, you just you got to so try and play guess your... yourself, don't you? Yeah, yeah, and I think he's playing the snooker here, and I, I'm 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 baffled by it. Has he played safe here. Well, six I'm points absolutely off baffled. This... He's got his creamy his... yellow that he, he likes to not go great, for. Not great, is it? He could really? swing that round off three cushions. Okay, he might not get on a red, but at least you're playing the next shot playing the snooker it might go a little bit wrong and you don't get any advantage mm. at all and he's not even got the snooker mm, that's the wrong shot for me but I, I personally sure, I don't think it was six. that shot that was the the bad one it was the it was the blue that he refused to go into the pack um, yeah but hey he's eight points in front two one in in front it it might not come back to to haunt him and uh, Tom's but it not playing might the best come safety. back to yeah, it might come back to a bit of tippy tappy here. Possibly. It might do, but the, those two reds to the corner. I wonder if he'll be tempted in playing a plant here. He's coming round to have a little look. He played a plant before and got it horribly wrong, so uh, he's not not even thinking about it. Just playing thin off it, and he'd like to get this. I was going to say towards the black, but uh, I think he's left this red, you know, Tom. Mm, it's a big shot, though, isn't it? It's, it's a big shot, he'll... but I don't think Tom Lewis will be afraid to play it. Well, he might be after that missed black, to be honest. I don't mm. really know. I think you'll have forgotten about that now. Here we go. What a shot from Tom, and he's got two. Oh. Two for the price of one there. Yeah, buy one, get one two. free. <laughs> What a shot. And he's given himself a chance here. Red's on perfect, but pop this I mean, the green. The big issue is that the pink and the black are uh, <gasps> not in good... Oh, oh. my word. <laughs> Did that give you flashbacks? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just have to go and lie down in a dark room, Joe, if you're, if you're okay. Oh, dear. That was, uh, that was a horrible misjudgment. Yeah, you've got to you've got to play a stun shot at about fifty sixty percent in that situation for it to come back. Otherwise, it does just run through. And um... <laughs> I guarantee, you, though, he'll say that he played it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to keep us on the edge of our seats. Um, well, I mean, this is a very tough red if he cuts it in because the white will be careering into those uh, those other reds. Nah, he's playing safe. He's he's playing just a little contain and safety. Now I wonder if this red goes up into the Mark yellow Allen, pocket. Five. I mean, there's definitely a red into the green pocket. Um, oh, this is this is a nasty little shot if he's thinking of that. I'm just looking at that red, just loose from the the pack of four. Whether that goes up to the yellow pocket, he hasn't he hasn't spotted it. I don't think. But well, we'll see. He's taking this one onto the green. Mm. Oh, he's screwing back as well. This is risky because he might snooker himself here if it goes in. Yeah. <laughs> it's there. Good One. shot. And, and he's on the blue. He yeah, he's played for a long blue. That's well played, actually. Yeah, yeah. I was very worried he was going to just get stuck in the pack there. <laughs> so was I, to be honest. Oh, this could be a bit soft. It could be a bit wide as well. Is it going to wobble in? It is. Oh, wow. Six. This is a good chance now. You just want to get half ball on the blue here so you can go into the pack. 
he's one good shot away here from having an excellent chance and that is pretty much perfect Seven. on the blue. He's caught exactly the same shot, funnily enough, that he refused before. It'll be interesting to see if he takes it this time. Well, yeah. if he doesn't... Yeah, there we go. That's the right shot. Okay, that's good. Yeah. You might just want to aim slightly low on the cue ball just because the reds are slightly left of the pink, but we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Yeah. <gasps> he missed it. Yep. You see that oh. the reds are just slightly left of the pink, so you want to sort of screw oh. into it a little bit, but very unlucky. Um, but hey he's got the next shot he's 15 points in the lead and he can play a good safety here mm, a little bit short but uh, it shouldn't shouldn't matter Sean Nothing Murphy for 12 no there's no uh, no little plants hiding are there I don't think no Tom straight down and playing the safety and well he's disturbed them a little bit there might be a he's plant a, here he's doing a bit of what I would do he's, he's kind of under hitting the safety shots which I I definitely seem to do on this uh, aiming a bit yeah I think it's very tough to, to judge the the power that you need but um, this is a cracking shot this is perfect length that's a great yeah, that's... safety that's the probably one of the better safeties we've seen this match. I'd say that was very good. Yeah, yeah. I don't think safety is is either of their strong points. I think Sperrin is. Well, you wouldn't expect so. With with one four seven in their name, you'd expect they're all about big break building. Well, you? well, exactly. Yeah, but uh, that's not a bad response from from Tom. But again, just as you say, under hitting it. You know, he needs to get that extra five percent on there. Um, so that he's getting nearer the black, but uh, this is a bit yeah, of a shot to nothing here. This is this is a good speed special. It's there, great shot, oh. well played. Now will he try and trickle him in behind the black? That would be a talent One. safety, wouldn't it? But uh, he might try and go and win the match here. Brown into the middle, lots of top spin. Oh, he's thinking of the blue. This is even more attacking. <laughs> oh my word. Just stood over one I... cushion, red into the left corner. Yeah, well, I was I was thinking he was the way this match has gone. I thought it was going to be a safety behind the black, as you said. But, yeah, um... yeah. I mean, uh, that would almost be too tempting, wouldn't it? To shove him in behind the black. Yep. But uh, here we go. It's there. Great shot. Just over hit it slightly. Oh, mm. oh this is a Six. thin one. It really is. But if it goes in. He's, he, I think. Well, I thought he was oh, going for it. It's I, a horrible shot, though, isn't it? Oh, he's playing this with. Si I'd rather play the the pot than play what he's attempting here. And he's missed it. Mm. He's gonna hit the green. Is he gonna leave a free ball? Mm, not quite. Foul and a miss. But the the Jim crowd Murphy, grown. Six. Mark Allen. Yeah, four. that was. Uh... I mean, oh what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Tom Lewis, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, he could get him in a lot of trouble here if he hits this. He's playing for the free miss roll. He is, he is. Oh, he's missed, he's missed it again. Oh, well, now this is exciting. <laughs> now it's Tom. Tom, you've got to put him back now after that. <laughs> yeah, please, please don't, <laughs> don't play just on. play on here. Mark Allen, four. Well, he has put him back, and now <gasps> we'll. Oh, Why well, do you think they're yeah, playing I don't, the double? I don't think. I, have to warn you, I don't think we'll see any uh, any swerve stroke, shots now. He's just going to be awarded to your opponent. Oh, don't play the roll up because if you miss, oh, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> I got a yeah, bit excited oh, there, Tom. I thought we were going to have yeah. a Detroit what poom jang on our uh, <laughs> on our on our radar, but uh... that is something I always want on my radar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of Detchy. Oh, a bit dear. of Mr. Poon Bastic. <laughs> well, I mean, those eight points could come in very handy for Tom later on. And Tom may be playing on the frustrations of Sperrin here. 
And Sperrin will be starting to get a little bit annoyed because he's had a couple of good chances and not really made a lot of them. He yeah, could yeah, well be sitting in the quarterfinal one. right now, um, and he's having to scrap it out here. But uh, well, I just, I mean, you know, Sperrin doesn't have to be the aggressor here, but I think he's knocked this onto the middle pocket. Can he get through to it? Maybe not. We'll soon find out. I hope he can, just so we see those red split, to be honest. Mm. Those reds have caused so much issue in this frame. And they've almost come back over the way uh, behind the pink now. Because <laughs> they were over to the left, and now they're now they're in a perfect position. Yeah, I'd quite um, like to see like a... Oh, what's he playing there? Where's the red going? Where's the it. red going? Oh, oh! Can you believe it? Tom Lewis. Oh, well, no. it's uh, it, That was Tom. I thought it was sparing yeah. that. That did that. Yeah, so, wow, what a chance this is. But you've, he's got to get those reds into play. That's the, the problem. Or is he going well, to just play the, the snooker yeah, behind the black? Yeah, I was going to say, now is when you should play that snooker. One. Because... Mm. I'd be tempted to, to try and shove the yellow near the blue here and just make things really, really awkward. He is, yeah, he's having a look to see if any of these pots, he's thinking about taking on a, a pot here. Now, what's he what's he looking at? He's looking to see, well, if I roll up to the black, what could I leave? And the answer is you're going to leave a horrible, horrible snooker. But he's thinking of the yellow now. Mm. You know, he's back at the... Well, surely he's not going to try and pot the black. Other than oh, take the seven to... points, but... Uh, no, he's, he's back to his cus his custard-tinted glasses. He is. Um, that's not a it's bad a shot. I think the brown... Yeah, Yeah, that's uh, well played. That's what I was kind of thinking. Sure, Shove the yellow one. towards the blue. Yellow, uh, the white try and sneak it in behind the black but that's an even better shot um, two cushion escape this is Pacey this is Pacey well could that be Tom Lewis's final shot in this year's uh, community world championship that was that was a shocker to play yeah, it at it. that pace that was very risky I think he was trying to flick it and get back to the ball Ken but well he didn't well. he didn't take any time on it so I wonder whether that was just frustration showing there perhaps mm. Maybe one, but uh, while well, Sperrin now moves fifteen points in front, this pink will put him twenty-one points in front with fifty-one on the table. Two reds, two pinks, puts him thirty-four in front with thirty-five. So he will need these three reds if he is going to take the pink. Um, and maybe now Sperrin might be regretting not taking the the black before. And getting those extra seven points, but uh, you can't foresee any problems here, can you? No, I would. Where the reds are, and with Eight. that pink in play, I mean, I guess you would ideally want the blue or the black down there just in case. But I would expect him to get these. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've got the green available if you need it. Um. You see, I wouldn't want to be running round off cushions. I think I'd want to screw back here. But uh, well, he's played it well enough. Now, which red would you try to pot here, Tom? 14. I would go for the one closest to the cushion, I think. Yeah, I completely agree. This is the more awkward one. Um, but you do need to be careful that the red doesn't block the pink. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I mean, he could potentially pop the blue up the cushion. There goes the red. And just as you said, Tom, just as you called, mm. he's blocked the pink. So he's going to have yeah. to play the blue now and leave himself a tricky red at distance. Or he plays the deep screw on the blue and risks missing it. Well, it looks like he's going for the latter. Hold Good on to shot. your hats. Oh, that's a brilliant shot, but he's not going to be on the red. Oh, he's 34 20. in front, 35 on the table. This is agonising. But look where the black is. 
it's going to be tough for Tom to get back into this frame. What would you now play then. here, Joe? Would you would you play the double? Would you play the cut? Would you play the safety? What would be your? I think to be honest with you, I'd roll the roll the red towards the cushion. Make Tom play the. the I'd play exactly what Sperrin's just played. Make Tom play the adventurous Sean shot Murphy, here. 20. You've got thirty-four points. He needs a black with a red. It's very unlikely he's going to get it. So yeah, I I I'd play that shot. And now, now I'd be tempted to play the double because this is a this is a decent angle for it. Mm. And I think he's he's, un, he's unlucky with that. I think that was a, a decent idea, but just slightly mishit. Yeah, to he needed to get pink. the red closer to the cushion, but uh, I think he is going to play the double here. Here we go. Is this going to be the shot that takes him through the next round? No. 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 This if this red's on. He can get on the black here. Wow, what a shot this would be from Tom. But it's an absolute natural to get onto the black here. Just drop this red in. He should be on the black. Here he goes. It's there, but he's not on the black. He's oh, not on he the black one. Oh, what has he done with those colours? Oh, well, this would be a huge shot to take on. But he's got to take it. Or he, try, he tries the pink and plays for the tie. Well, if he pots this, I take my hat off to him. This black is very, very tricky. He's going for it. It's certainly close. Is it going to wobble? Oh, it drops! Oh. Wow! I thought that was going to sit there. I can't believe that has dropped, actually. But he's got another tricky shot here on this yellow. Oh, is it going to drop? It is. Well, oh. the chance is there to steal um, this frame by one point. I mean, I, yeah, I'm going to have to put a hat on just to take it off myself for that shot. Cause... Wow. I mean, those two shots are two of the hardest to play. He nearly missed the green there. Goodness me. This now, would just be clearance calm down. Of the, take uh... a second. 13. Yeah, this would be clearance yeah, this would of the be championship. A clearance. But he just I think that black a... could, could well be shot at the championship, to be honest with you. That black under the pressure, knowing if you miss it, you're out. That was brilliant. That was up there with Peter Ebden's pink in 2002, that, for me. Um, wow, what 17. a shot. But he just seems to be rushing it a little bit. Just take a breath. This blue... A little bit of screw back. Watch the cue ball. Watch the cue ball. Oh, it's it's okay. Just getting a bit excited. Twenty-two. Wow, well, I've, I've never seen a slow tornado. I guess that's the point of his nickname, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, you know, it looks a formality from here. Sperrin will be absolutely seething in his chair right now. Well. Twenty-eight. Back from the brink, or oh, what? I mean, yeah, this is. This, this is black to force a decider. Wow! 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 <laughs> well done, Tom Lewis. That was absolutely terrific. 35. That break Frame of 35 takes okay. us into a decider. It's two frames apiece. Wow. Well. Tom Lewis to, do, to break off in this deciding frame and sparing. We'll just be going through the ringer. Tom Lewis will be so chuffed to bit that he's still in the match, still in the tournament, still fighting. And you've got to say after that, Tom Lewis almost goes favourite for this now. Well, he'll be so confident right now. He'll feel so pumped, I'm sure. Yeah, and I can sparing. imagine there was a few fist pumps uh, going on. Yep. But uh, I just can't believe that. I really can't. I thought I'd seen everything when we seen the Don's Magician going off into the <laughs> middle pocket to win the match um, and go on to lose. But if Sperrin loses this match, wow. He's had a taste of his own medicine there, hasn't he? But, uh, <laughs> well, unbelievable. But, um, hey... All you want in a decider is one chance, and that was a terrific safety from Sperrin. Look at the cue ball, absolutely nailed to that ball cushion. 
Yeah, you couldn't place it better, could you really? And it'll be interesting to see how Tom approaches this. Will he really put the pressure on Tom, uh, on Sperrin and play a couple of little attacking safeties? I mean, that's a little bit more attacking than we were used to seeing. Mm. Q-Ball was close to the jaws, but didn't really threaten. Good response. This is excellent from Sperrin. Great shot. Just a little bit short of getting the snooker there, but pressure now goes to Tom Lewis. And in a decider, every shot is huge on these safeties. <laughs> this is great. From both players, this is great stuff. It is so difficult to to consistently hit the middle of that power bar because look how thin it is on these safety shots. Look how thin that power bar is. And we're going to get our first sort of gentle shot of the decider. This could end up behind the black though. So this could work out quite nicely. Tell you what, this looks pretty good. Ooh, just a little bit wide, but... Hey, there's nothing on. Yeah, but I, I wonder if he's given Tom Lewis the uh, initiative here to get a safety behind one of the, uh, perhaps the brown or the green or something like that. Yeah, I think if you hit this, when well, he's hit it a bit oh, thicker, I think yeah. if you absolutely feathered that red, you might have been able to get it in behind the green. Now, maybe he tried that because uh, it seems to have gone a little bit wayward, so maybe he missed the power bar. Um this is a good chance for Sperrin to regain the initiative now. It's coming round. Mm, it's the green. Oh, if you could get the cue ball behind that green, that would be a very telling safety shot. Oh, this is a little bit short, but again, he's not left anything on, and that's a priority here. Mm -hmm. Make sure you keep those reds safe. <laughs> this is a little thin one. He's got to hit the power bar. Yeah, looks good. Well played. Hmm. This is one of the better safety battles in the tournament so far. And then, you know, they're not nailing the ball cushion every time, but they're keeping the red safe. And they're not just yeah. playing roll ups, which are, I'm really admiring at the moment. No, this is this is very much reminding me of uh, of the final last year. And well, you can't really get a better compliment than that, can you? No, no. And, you know, there's not really been many big breaks in this match, but it has been a really fascinating encounter. Oh, this could be good from Sperrin. This could be very good. What a shot that is. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I don't know if you remember right. last year, but Sperrin um, had one of the shots of the championship where he we got somebody in a terrific snooker behind the yellow. I can't remember exactly who it was, but Tom, a good escape there, but uh, I think this red goes, and it does. Yeah, he's a bit unlucky, isn't he? Mm. Oh, Sperrin, take another second. I don't think that's lined up, is it? No. Oh, oh that, was, that was close, but no cigar. And it's amazing how many times that happens. You play such good safety, you get a chance, you miss the red, and then your opponent gets in. Mm, tough opener, though, for Tom. Nope. No. Well, oh, and he's knocked a red out well. Sparring back the, in now. You can see the tension in these potted attempts, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Tom will be gutted about that, but Sparring... Playing this at 100 miles an hour. And that's a cracking opening red. And he's brought other reds into play. Now will he be tempted with the blue straight into the pack? Go for the kill. Or will One. he play the creamy yellow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You know, he's going for the blue. I think he is going for this. Here we go. Hold on to your hats. Attention all pockets. Oh, where's the cue ball? Oh, where's the red going? Surely not. Oh, well. That wow. is astonishing. Sean Murphy, one. Mark Allen, oh, five. That, unfortunately, could well be Sperrin's last shot in this in this tournament. That is he didn't stuff quite of play the, the, the shot as well as I think he could have. Uh, you know, you'd want to hit that pink full in the face. He just sort of slipped off them, and that's that's when reds and cue balls can go close to pockets, and both did there. Eight. But that was super unlucky. That red stopped for what felt like an eternity before gravity took over. But, uh, well, Tom Lewis here. What a chance. Yeah, Nine. and Sperrin will know this this should have been him. This should have been his break right now and that will hurt. That will really yeah, hurt. Yeah, it really will. You know, if he doesn't get another shot now, that is incredibly unlucky. But Tom's just gotta to put all of that to one side now and he's gotta he's gotta hold himself together, but that's not a very good positional shot. No, that's that's the opposite of holding yourself together there. Yeah. I mean, he could sneak this red into the left middle, but it's very tough. He could play the double. He could play a red into the left corner, but none of them are guaranteed. This isn't a gimme, but it's there. What a shot that is from Tom. That was gutsy. That was gutsy from Tom. Great shot. And he's got the blue into the corner. Bring it back a couple of inches. Red 17. into the right corner here. Oh, what a chance this is. This is exactly what you want. And after what's happened in this match, after the clearance in the last frame, Sperrin must just be feeling like this is just not meant to be at this point. And he screwed it back further. Red into the right middle. Or you 22. could play the uber attacking shot of the red into the right corner and split the reds but I don't mm. think Tom's up for that and he split the reds from that red wow great shot this is, this is this is the best we've seen in the match I think and I, it's it's exactly what you said he's just feeling so confident and so pumped right now he's stomping around the table just like he owns the place this is really, really good. Solid oh, yeah. blue. Nice little flick. And that's that's what happens. You start to get the run of the ball. 28. Well, um, this is uh, this could be like the turning point of the championship for Tom Lewis. If he, if he clears up here, mm -hmm. then who's to say he can't beat anyone, really? Well, yeah. You know, he's shown he's got bottle. Definitely, and another lovely little flick there. Look at these reds. This is exactly what you want. He's dead straight on the blue. Sperrin must be cursing in his seat, thinking, oh, he's got the run of the ball, but hey, he, he's earned it at this point. Sperrin's had plenty of chances, and that's what will make him feel worse about this defeat, is that he should have already been sat in the quarterfinal. We were saying this halfway through the last frame. 34. You know, it shouldn't have got to the point where it was 34 in front with 35 on the table. But it did happen, and it's amazing how it can turn around. Just a couple of little errors from Sperrin and a little 35. bad run of the ball in this frame. But from here, I don't see Tom messing this up, personally. Well, and there's... How long are the matches in the next round? Is it seven? It's, it's still best of Four. still best of five in the quarterfinal. Best, okay. uh, best of seven in the semi and best of nine in the final. So, um, you know, plenty of time to, of course, uh, turn it around in the later matches. But uh, you know, I think we've seen in this best of five lots of swings in momentum. So yeah, it's well, yeah, this this really shows how. You know, a longer match can be very, very different. Because if it was a best of three, then Spain would have gone through. Yeah. But yeah. this, like Tom Lewis, has really he's really grown into it, and I think the more table time he's got, 
he's gone from getting a break of eight or six or whatever, and now he's he's potting them for fun. Yeah, and you know already 46. on forty six, he's fifty points in front, seventy five on the table. He only needs two of these reds with colours, and he's through, which is unbelievable. Yeah, good pot. Be interesting believe, to see what uh, he plays here. I believe Tom Lewis plays a lot in real life. So do you think that that helps his game? Helps his bottle, maybe? Yeah, helps his I, th- I think so. Uh, I think it certainly helps with with stuff like positional play. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily tell it from this match, uh, but um, you know, I think the more he's grown into it, the more he's had that cue ball vi- virtually where 54. he wants it. Um, but yeah, red and colour required here, and he's through. Oh, he must be absolutely buzzing inside right now. He knows he's got this. All he needs to do is pop 55. this black. And could we see our first century of the match? That's all this match has really missed, to be honest, is a ton. Oh, he's playing the blue. I can't believe he's not playing the black, but the blue goes in. <laughs> and that will seal this match. And Sperrin will be very, very disappointed, but uh, I'm sure he'll be back. You know, he, he played very well at last year and he's he's, he's you know, had a good couple of matches here. And he's very unlucky not to be in the quarterfinal draw. But uh, I suppose after the way he got through in the last match... Maybe it's uh, the snooker gods getting their own back. <laughs> 61. But, uh, this has been no, brilliant from Tom. What a, what a break this has been. No bias at all from you there, Joe, is there at all? <laughs> hey, what are you? Oh, I don't know what you're trying to say. don't know what I'm you're saying, trying to say. I'm saying that snooker gods were against him in the last round. Or, no, the snooker gods 68. were for... Against you in the last round. You sound like Judd Trump. They were against me in the last round. But, uh... All right, all right, Judd. <laughs> no, they, they weren't against me at all. I, I, think, <laughs> uh, I think Lee, Lee deserved to win. Um, but uh, enough about me. This is all about Tom. This is his moment now. And uh, there's no way 69. back to the table for Sparrow. I, I think he'll just be out of here, to be honest. And... Might even quit the Discord server after this. Uh, <laughs> you know. Oh, I don't, I don't think the cream torn will do that. <laughs> no, he won't. But uh, <laughs> I mean, I hope, I hope we see a century here. I think it would be nice for Tom to, to get ton up and let us all know that he's got his nineteenth, uh, nineteen thousandth century in <laughs> my, on Master Plus difficulty. Well, he's got the red out. There's every chance of it here. Every chance. Seventy-five. Well, he'll be asking what the what the high break is because one of the biggest uh, prizes in this tournament, I believe, is a fifty-pound high break prize, which is yes. crazy. Yeah, yeah fifty-pound PSN voucher for the high break, currently held by Sam Millers, um, eighty-three. I think it's eighty-three, um, and uh, it's a one-three-five. So unfortunately, Tom can't get it. I think he snookered himself here. Eighty-two. What a shame. What a shame! Oh, and he's just oh. uh, well, he's he's trying to pot the green. No, not quite. But uh, well, there you go. What a match that was, and a shame there had to be a loser. But Tom Lewis, all credit to him, brilliant break in frame four, and that break of eighty two wow. gives Allen, him the 82. match. Sean Murphy by three four. frames to two, and he'll go through to the quarter final. Where he's going to either face J Page, Mark, Mark a 36, or um, Roast Beef, uh, 4114. So, thoroughly enjoyed that, Tom. I uh, don't know if you have uh, any analysis on the match and how you thought both players played. Well, it was, it was a cracking match, and that was a real... As I said in that last frame, that could be a turning point. We've seen it so many times over the years where... A player doesn't play fantastically. They, they start a bit slowly, but they grow into a tournament and they get better and better and better. And I mean, this could be that moment for Tom Lewis. 
Yeah, uh, I could, couldn't agree more with you. I think that was uh, terrific. I think, you know, all uh, in all seriousness, um, Jay Page is definitely the favourite to, to get through that match with, with roast beef, and that'll be coming out tomorrow on the channel. Um, but, uh, you know, if Tom Lewis can show that sort of bottle... Um, you know he's got a he's got a good chance. Um, we shall see. It's uh, it's going to be interesting, and uh, you know best of luck to to him in the rest of the competition. And all matches from the quarterfinal stage will be televised, so uh, maybe we'll oh. even get hook up again uh, um, to to commentate on on Tom Lewis against J Page. I think I think it might be quite nice that if you're up for it, Tom. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, does that mean it's if they're all televised? Are they all technically the? Is it a virtual single table setup now, or? Well, it is. It it is a single uh, table setup now, and uh, yeah, so we'll have the the whole uh, auditorium to ourselves, and we'll have all the camera angles that we want, and um, you know, we'll have fifty percent capacity crowd, and <laughs> <laughs> all, all of the above ready for this next match but um, no it's been a, a pleasure as always Tom uh, to commentate on this one with you and uh, apologies to, to anyone who is a Judd Trump fan I know earlier in the match we were we were celebrating the victory of Sean Murphy um, and then and then you know celebrating the, the victory of Tom at the end there so uh, it, it's come full circle hasn't it we've uh, we've been through the ringer in this uh, in this commentary but uh, no thank you very much to everybody at home that is tuned in and uh, you know leaving a like all of that good stuff getting involved in the chat and uh, we can't wait to see you on the next one we'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>